All right, boys and girls and girls and boys, here's what we got for you today. What we're going to do is we're going to administer the NMRA Achievement Program Model Railroad Engineer Part Electrical. And I got my clipboard and my checklist. This is page one of the checklist. Um, so we're going to do it on this really nice DCC layout. And what the what the the certificate is for is to demonstrate that you've done roughly. We've got seven things we got to do. We're going to do those seven things. And I'm going to show you how they're done, and then we'll get this paperwork sent off. Should be pretty interesting. Okay, here comes our first train running down. Running down the double track main line. And this is our, uh, an excursion train. And there he goes. And this double track main right here is what we're going to demonstrate the independent operation of two trains simultaneously in just a minute. Okay, what we're going to do is part A. As you can see in part A, we need two simultaneous mainline trains independently controlled in both directions. We'll be coming to that in a minute. This is a DCC. There are five blocks, but we don't need that. Okay, I'm going to show you the passing siding, yard with three tracks and lead, the engine storage facility, and the power supply with its protective device. Let's go knock these out right now. Okay, here comes our here comes our passenger train again. It's coming down the main. Now this double track here is also set up for passing siding. So as you're going down the main, if this one track is out of service, there is a section here by the oil tanks that has a crossover, which runs here. An entire train length can now come down all the way down, and then here we go again. It can pass back onto the main. So what we have... That's our passing siding. We can stop one train. One train can pull into the main. The other one on the same main. They can meet each other. One can go around. One can wait. Forwards, backwards. That makes up our passing siding. And that's what we're going to use on our list here. This is our passing siding. Okay, now we're going to do the next one, which is a yard with three tracks and an independent lead. What we have here is a pretty big yard and the tracks are marked off. What we're looking at, there, we're looking down the yard ladder. As you can see, there are more than three tracks. But these three tracks here have, the ones we're looking at right now, they all have cars on them waiting to be sorted into trains. Now, back this way, you can look back here. Out here you got the main line. These two. This track here. This one, number three here. That is our lead. You can see down there away where it can move out to the main line. But you can use it to switch long trains. You can pull a train completely out of the yard. Go on this track all the way down there. This first... All the way down. Mm -hmm. and then they did, uh, That's your lead. That's your independent trucks. lead. Yeah. Mainline trains can pass by while the yard is being worked. All right. Next up, let's go to the let's go to the engine house. Okay. Next up, we got to show two unused locomotive power units, and we're going to show the engine house too. But first, let's go find one. Over here at at Harvey at the grain elevator there is a track 
And on that track is a switch engine <coughs> warming up right now, as you can see. And that is a storage track for this locomotive when it's not in use. That's going to be one of our unused locomotives. Let's go check a look down here. I'm going to head down this way. And here's another one. This one is parked on the track in front of the factory garage door. Uh, sometimes it is also parked over here at the rotary dumper. But either way, it's, it's off the main and it has several parking spots where it can be staged when it's not used. Okay, let's go check out the engine house. All right, here's the engine house. And we've got four tracks here and plenty of room to store locomotives that are ready to be put in service. And they run up to Sand Tower. You can hear some of them warming up right now. Here comes the train on the main line behind. And we got the back shop. You know how I got the door. And the snowplow story. Okay, so now what we need to do is examine the power supply, and it's got to be protected by circuit breaker. So, what do we got here? We have two 5 amp, or a 5 amp booster, a 10 amp booster, your main power of the system, you've got a power pro system for your three different uh, <clears throat> circuits, and then you got a zone share which breaks it up for <clears throat> your uh, power surge on different... Uh, so the zone share on the top there is the protective device. Right. And it makes sure that if anything goes wrong, the layout shuts down. Right. And then resets itself when the problem's been corrected. Exactly. All right, that's all we need. Okay, now what we gotta do is we gotta have two trains simultaneously. So here comes our excursion train. It's gonna come up the main line. And we... where you want me to stop. Okay. Now here's another train. He's got to make some switching moves out onto the main. There he goes. He's on the main. At the same time, here comes the excursion train. And there's two tracks here. So they're not going to get in the way of each other. And they're going to make moves simultaneously. Okay, hey, there's our protective device kicking in. You can hear the sound. Give it a second. There it goes again back on. That's how a protective device works. Okay. Here comes the excursion train. Alright. Oh, we're hitting this short. Okay. There we go. Too short. That's Milwaukee power. There's something shorting. The protective device is kicking in. It's resetting. What's that? Don't think it's me. We're going to check it out here. Get it figured out in just a second. Okay, we're back. We have found the bad ordered car. And now, we've got to move the switcher, which came off the main and is now switching the elevator. And this whole system here of oil tanks, right, so heat store, and right here, he's got cars out on the main. He's got to come and bring back and get the main cleared after he finishes that work. That's our two independent trains. There's going to be some more though coming right up. Let's take a look at our let's look at our clipboard thing. All right. Let's review. We have got the Denver local. You're clear on the main. Okay. We have demonstrated two simultaneous mainline trains independently controlled in both directions. Not a problem. We did that. This is not DC, so we don't need 
to worry about the five blocks. But we have shown a passing siding, a yard with at least three tracks and a lead, facilities to store unused locomotives. So I showed you three spots where you do that. And then we did a little overview of the power supply and the circuit breaker. And you got to see the circuit breaker in action. And it did, it did work. Now you can hear the sound. It means everything's working and the trains are moving. Let's just take a quick look across. Over there in the yard, something's happening. The train's pulling out with his caboose and heading out. There he goes. <coughs> there we go. Okay, we're on to part B. Wire and demonstrate three of these. The first one we're going to do is the turnout. The easiest one. We're going to do that. We're going to take a look at a couple turnouts over here while this train is, is switching. And we're going to show... Now, what we need to do is demonstrate them. The wiring part goes in a drawing that you have to make on a separate page. What we got to do right now is let's show that that we've got a turnout that's working. So there's going to be a move here, and I'm going to show you that there's a couple of turnouts working. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate a manual switch. So here comes our switch engine. It's got to make a couple of moves here, and here we go. We're going to switch. With a ground throw. Alright. Track is switched. He's going to go back and pick up that tank car. Alright. Now, you can see the ground throw is marked yellow. It's marked amber for caution. It should be green in its normal position. Here he comes. Switch it again. There we go. Alright, so that was a manual switch. Now he's got his train. And he's getting ready to make the next move. He's got to push those few cars ahead. Alright, so here he comes. He's got to go out on the main right here. Now this switch. For the main is not manual as you'll see in a second here he's got a he's gonna use the main as his lead and check this out look down here come down here there's a train waiting on the same track independent right now the main is followed right down here we've got this guy waiting Okay, so now he's got to come back. He's going to do a runaround operation. There's an electric switch. And he's going to go up here to the panel. He's going to hit the switch. He's going to put it green for the main right here. Now he's going to run around with these cars. There he goes. He's going to run around using the main. Remember, there's another train way back there waiting. While the main is fouled, so, independently operated, hit, uh, he's got to come up here and get on the back side of these cars. So I can switch out that tank car again. Now this switch uh, over here reverse. is up on the panel, isn't it? Is that the right one? Yep. Okay. So now. It's another electric one. Yeah. It's off the main. And it's hooked up. And he's ready to work. Work the cars on the siding again. Right. Get the big hook. We've got to do three. We've done the turnout. The next one we're going to do is number eight. Three-way turnout. So check this out. Right down here, we've got a three-way turnout. And there's a train coming shortly here, which is gonna bring, it's gonna use this three-way turnout back here. And we'll check it out in just a second. Okay, we're gonna demonstrate the three-way switch. We have a train coming. 
It's going to come down to the three-way switch here, right? Which way are you going to go first? It's going in to drop the three cars into the power plant. Power. Okay, so we're going to take the far right hand on the three-way and head down to the power plant. And then some cars going are going to go on the... Going back there, so you can go on the power plant. Let's check it out. Is it a line for the power plant? It is currently a line for the bakery. So I'm going to switch it. So now, these cars can go into the power plant. And... Here we go. Heading on into the power plant. Uh oh, <clears throat> little shoving problem. That's all right. We'll get that cleared. He's going to get in the power plant and the bakery off this three-way switch. Okay, we got to make a move to the three-way switch again. So here comes this tank car and this last coal car. Got to be stored down here because you're too long to make another move. So here they come through the three-way. Nope. That's me causing the shorts. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. A little fast. A little fast. There we go. Yikes. There we go. Somebody, somebody's moving out. We got a little short going on today. But anyways, we've cleared the switch. We're good. That's good. Go ahead. I'm going to uncouple them here. And do it that way. Okay, you're clear to pull them out. Okay, so now we're going to go back. Those two are stored. The tank car is out of here on its next train to the yard. That coal's got to be dropped off at this power plant. But first, this box car has got to go to the bakery and they don't all clear so the next thing that's going to happen is these two cars are going into the power plant they are in the three-way switch switch is switched let's check to see if the power plant is switched it's not let's put power plant on there we go we're switched for power plant so we'll go in we'll drop off these two Okay, he's going to go in there. He's going to go in the bakery. All he has to do is shove it as far as he wants it, and then he can back up because it's already uncoupled. Are we making it? It's going. Oh, there we go. We're too fast. Run away. That's good. Okay, back up. See that? Just like that. That's perfect. All right, he's heading out. All right, back to the three-way switch over here. On to another track. We've used two of the three tracks. He's got some switching to do. I think we're going to call that one good. This is it. We got two out of three. That was our three-way and some other switching and stuff. Kind of cool. we got to do one more. What we're going to do is we're going to do a crossover. And it might be happening right now. Okay, we're going to demonstrate a crossover. Here comes the train out of the yard. He's going to come out of the yard. He's going to head down the lead. He's going to cross over from the lead. He's going to cross over the lead and head out onto the main so he can get to his destination. So there he goes. He's going to come down here. And we're going to be demonstrating. Here he comes. We're going to be demonstrating yep. another so switch panel. Set, so. All right, so the switch panel is already aligned to go out onto the main. And you see that yellow light? That means that means a train coming in would be crossing over, which is what we're doing right now. We're crossing over onto the main. When you pass through, you'll set the switch back to green. 
making it safe for mainline Ready. trains. Here we go. Okay. Ready? It's hitting that. She's double green. And the switches yeah. are now aligned for the main. Crossover complete. And he is heading out. Okay, so what we got here if that's at right, Donnie here. Brook. Um, here comes the train we followed from the yard. Yeah. As you can see I back here, there's another there. train that's working at hand. Donnie Brook, and they're switching. We're going to go by them. And this train is going to hit on, another one. crossover yeah, as both. soon as. Yeah, as soon as we get sorted out, what's going to happen down here? The engineers are getting together and they're going to figure out. What's got to be picked up? What's got to be set out? Okay. Switches are aligned. He hit the panel. There he goes. We are crossing over. You can see the other train is switching out these couple of industries back here. Paper plant, rotary dumper, there he goes, crossing over. Heading on down the line here. Okay. Okay, now once the crossover is complete, he's going to align the switch back on the panel. You should see the greens come on. There we go, double green means the main line is now safe and that is the crossover all right listen guys this is not that hard is it so far we've completed parts a and b so let's summarize quick we had these main line trains two of them going on and they're still here there's actually three three of them going on right now on this main line we did a crossover here's a crossover here we did a crossover and a passing operation over there. Two simultaneous trains. We got trains going in every direction here. We got crossovers happening. We got passing sightings happening. We have most definitely completed part A. Over there, I showed you the big yard. There's not a lot happening in the yard at the moment. But there's a train waiting that we're going to take out of the yard in a little bit. Okay. Uh, Yard has more than three tracks and has a long independent lead. It goes all the way back there. And there's a control panel to get in and out of the yard. All right, so let's take a look then. How are we doing there? Okay, we got the yard. I showed you the facility store locomotives. One was way down there at that green elevator. There's a spot where you can store a locomotive right at that green elevator. There's a spot at this factory, right in front of that garage door. And there's another one here. And there's another one where it is stored right now. It's not in use. These switchers are switching this place. Okay, so we met that requirement. We went under, we looked at the power supply. You've seen the circuit breaker kick into action a bunch of times. We completed that. We demonstrated some manual turnouts and some control panel turnouts with indicators. They have lights to tell us if it's safe to go, if the turnout is aligned in the normal position to protect the main line. The manual, the manual switches, green means normal position, safe position. When you switch them, switch this guy over, amber, caution, it's switched to go in Switch to go in and back in. Let's put it back where it was. Green. That takes care of our switches. Then we went over. We saw the three-way turnout. We switched out a couple of industries with three-way turnout. And we're good to go on that. All right. Let's move on to part C. All right. We made it. We made it to part C. This has turned out to be a lot easier than most people think. So in part C, we need three things. What we're going to do is we're going to do turnout position indication on a control panel, which we've already done, but I'm going to summarize it for you. 
high frequency lighting what this is what that means is building lighting that's independent and turn on and off and it stays on all the time constant lighting I'll show you in a second easy then we are gonna we're gonna risk it right we're gonna risk it all we're gonna go down here to the mysterious number 23 other I'm gonna show you what that is we're gonna do for number three we could do any one of these other ones lots of them we can do here we're gonna go down and we're gonna risk it big and do an other I think you'll like it yeah. Okay, here we go. We got to do some high frequency lighting. Now, what that means yeah, is these building lights are on. Check that out. There's even there's people in there. And the lights are on. Got lights here, lights here. Look at that. Look at the lifesaver sign back there. Animated. Animated lights. We could use that as one of our items. We're going to we're gonna do a special one. But there's an extra one right there is animated lights, just in case. Yeah, this is a general electric sign. What do you think of that? Pretty cool. That those count right there as an extra qualification. So if we were to fail one of them, we can come back with some animated lights. But right now we're doing high frequency lighting. So check these buildings out. They got the lights on. Now here's the deal. The lights gotta be independent. Uh oh. Let's go look underneath here. This is a bus bar where the lights that distributes power to all those different buildings and and lighted stuff up above. That's what it's the high frequency lighting. High frequency lighting is the old term for constant lighting. And the way this works is that's how you organize your buildings. Who gets lights? And then it's plugged in over here, over here, and down to you. Guess what? One of these. You probably got a toolbox, a junk box full of these things. And then you can use the on off switch right there on your power strip, which has a circuit breaker in it. So it's protected. It has an indicator light. Power goes to the buildings, constant light, and you're good to go. We're going to go mark that one as complete. All right, remember when I said we're going to do the other? Uh-oh. Hey, you guys. You got to stop this train. This is the other that I was talking about. We're going to risk it. This is a helix. Now, we got a little derailment right here. And if I can, I'm going to fix it. Okay. Here we go. Heading on down the helix. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be coming down. And then we're going to come around here. And you're heading into where? Calgary? No, nope, we're heading to Minneapolis. Heading to Minneapolis. All right. All right. So to get to Minneapolis, which is down there in staging, you need to come down from this level up here of the layout all the way down to here, which is... Little, just a little higher than me level. So there's a double track helix here, all wired up as you can see. There's the bus, there's the feeders, it's purple and white. And oh, here we go. We got the same, we got the same thing again where we got to derail me. Okay, can you stop the train right here? There we go. Let's fix this guy again. He does not like coming down around here. And this kind of happens. All right, she's ready to roll. Head now. There we go. Couple blasts on the horn. And down we go. Helix is, is a uh, pretty involved piece of engineering. And the wiring, there's a lot of it. It's not complicated, but there is a whole lot of it. As you can see, we've got a main bus, a purple and gray, and then we've got little feeders at those suitcase connectors to go to the track. See that? There goes our train. And, you, oh, you're off the track again. Look at these two cars here. 
Yeah, yeah, these these guys don't like something to yank each other off the track. All right, she's ready. She's ready to head out again. Mark down which cars are not good. Let's take one more look. This is our other. The wiring is really straightforward. You need a bus wire and you need a feeder wire. Okay. It's that blue one in the These last three here tend to yank each other off the track. Yeah, because I remember that Pillsbury one yep. was kind of this was the one now, but I think we've done all put all three of these on the track. Should be good now. Yep, should be good heading into Minneapolis. And so let's just take a quick look. We got purple and gray, and you see they're soldered to the track. And those are your feeders. They go down to the bus, and the bus goes and gets power. There's not a whole lot of really tough wiring, but as you can see, there's a lot of it. That is our other, and we are going to go mark that off our sheet. And we should be complete on this side. Okay, now, for our other, I'm going to take this train right here. I'm going to find this train, these two SD60s, 58 and 59. We're going to take them out of the yard. We're going to bring them up the helix. All right, so, let's see. Those right. are my two, those red First, ones back there. We're putting you on track three here. Uh oh. Good luck. I forgot what to what? do. Hold on while I train up. Here we go. We are heading up the helix nice and slow. This is our other. This is our other special. You going inside? We're going in. Here we go. Are you going nope. inside? No, nope, I'm not going to go inside. Uh -huh. You can go inside. You going to go inside on the creeper? <laughs> Or not. That's, that's a little bit of a low duck. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, we got one already. Coming off the track. Right here. Let's slow down. Yeah, this is going to be a tough haul up this helix with these auto racks. It's pretty neat now, some of these with open screens on them, isn't it? I like those. Yeah. Here we go. There's another train coming through on the helix. And I got mine back on there. I had to crawl in here. Now I'm inside and we are going to hit it again. There we go. We're moving. And then behind me, here comes this. You can see back there. There's another train coming. We got to get moving. There's two tracks here, but. Let's see if we can get these 86 foot. Listen, if it works with 86 foot auto racks, then you know this is a really good heat. Look at this guy lapping me right now. He's on the other track, a different train, and he is like catching up to me. I gotta put some power on it. He's only got like GP38, so what do we got? We got two SD60s. Let's see if we can hit it a little bit. There we go. We got them now. Oof, but those guys are keeping up fast. And they got a bunch of center beams. Center beams are super tough to keep on the track because they don't weigh anything. Here comes out of racks. The loads help to keep the center beams on the track. Yeah, you need something. An empty center beam is really tough to move. We're coming up. We are really rolling now. Look at this train. One behind, behind us. On the other track. Two trains at one time. Remember when I said we had to have two simultaneous movements? Got well, three we're of doing them. it right now. What? There's another one coming? There's another one behind Holy you. cow, look at this. Train number three has entered the helix. We got three trains heading up the helix at one time on two different tracks. Now that is how you do it. That is how you do it. Uh, my, my train is going as fast as you can. That's right, but, but you know, we got GP38, so we got... And you got power, right? What do we got? We got two yeah, we got SD60Ms. And we are... We are rolling. Back here, 
back here, this guy. He's got two SD40-2s. He probably is going to hit it and catch up. Here we go. We've made it to the top. We have made it to the top of the helix. And we are, we are about ready to head out onto the main line. All right, now you're on the ground. Dude. I am going to oh, yeah. slow down, That's not my train. and I got to get out of here before my train goes train. through that tunnel no, over there. It comes out Which on the main line. Uh, right All right, hold up. All right, let's go outside and see our train come out. All right, I'm coming out. Here comes my train. Here we go. Remember this main line? This is our part A main line. And I'm on it. And I'm heading down. Heading down the main line. Alright, so that one needs it. Alright, we'll be heading into the yard in just a minute. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We only needed to do three things, right? And our magic number 23 is what we're going to check off. Other. And then I'm going to initial that. Your caboose is here and then you're set to high ball. That other oh, is a helix. A two track helix. That's what we got. That's it. We are done with part C. That's A, B, and C. Complete. Okay, then we go over here. Now we gotta do three things. We're gonna use the position indication on the control panel. Notice it says control panel or track side. So we're gonna use one of these control panels, the simple one. If we weren't using the control panel, we would show four of those ground throws. Throw them ground, four of them ground throws over in the yard would meet that. Because notice, right in the middle there, it says control panel or. Okay. It says a minimum of four. We've got four. So there's one, two, three, four, right in those two panels there. There's a fifth one. Six, seven. We're just going to show how one of them is wired. Eight, nine. We got them all over the place. We have more than enough to meet the four. Okay. On a control panel or at track side. Electrical <coughs> turnout position indicator. That's what them green lights are for. Remember? Amber is caution. Green means go. Okay, then we showed the building lighting. That's high frequency lighting. AC electricity into a transformer to a terminal strip to the buildings. Now, we also had a bunch of animation. And obviously, there's an advanced electrical control here, which we demonstrated. Oh, yeah, back over here. One power supply with protective device. We've definitely seen that in operation a number of times today. Okay. Uh-oh. What do we got last? We did the very dangerous and highly risky number 23, the two-track helix, and it was pretty awesome. We showed some wires on that. Now we got to get on to the exam part. Show the model railroad in A. In A is where we showed all them trains passing and crossover. That part right here. This diagram will consist of basically these two tracks that start at this bridge. They run down here. We're not going to show. We don't need to show all the switches that go to somewhere else. We need to show this part where we've got the main a passing siding here. And we got crossover coming up. Where is it that we go back on? Okay. Enter the main track there. Go down here. There's a crossover right there. And you remember way down here is the other crossover. We used these two crossovers on this main. We used them as a passing siding. 
and we used them for switching operations. That is the part we're going to diagram. Think track chart. And the three-way turnout. That's it. That's the whole thing. Then, it's got to be witnessed. Alright, let's take a close look at what, how the turnout switch indicator light works. There's the switch machine. You see power coming in. And there's a second set of wires. What those do is they go up to the switch. Way up here. This toggle switch right here. When flipped one way, that light is on. When flipped the other way, that light is on. That changes the position of the switch over there. And how that works is that interrupter wire from the switch machine comes up here. And this determines which way that thing is going to go. There's a light bulb on each side of this switch. Now there's a little diode that protects it so that when the switch is this way, power cannot flow through this light bulb. If I switch it that way, power cannot flow through that light bulb. That's how they work. That's what the diodes are for. That way they let us know that amber means caution, green is safe. That's how you do that. Very easy wiring. All right, let's take a look at how this crossover is wired. So we got two tracks. This train creeping on its way right now. In the middle here, there is a gap. You got your date? It's well hidden, but it's insulated. These two tracks are independent. Yeah. <laughs> Super easy to wire. You got one this I track to drop off. Yeah, has, two, on has two wires that goes down inside. to a power bus. This track that this train is coming on, two wires down to its power bus, gap in the middle. That's all there is to you wiring this. Do that before, so you okay, listen, you guys. We are at the three-way. This is the this is the switch. It's got two ground throws on it, the three-way, and it's super simple wiring. You put a feeder wire right here at the beginning, and then you do feeders. On all three of the all three of the directions you can go. That's all there is to it. There's no fancy wiring involved here at all. Just get power to both ends of the switch. That's it. All right, here it is. The final exam going on right now. Here's the trick: do it on a piece of scratch paper first before you transfer it over to your final exam. That's what we're gonna do. Should knock this out. Each one of these, maybe, maybe five minutes, not even. They don't have to be perfect, they don't need special symbols, but they gotta be understandable. That's the only requirement.